extension time. So this year, the extensions came out on May 20th. So I'm gonna go through the application a little bit. Some of my information was already filled out, so I'm not gonna show you that, but we'll see. It looks pretty similar to the initial application, so don't worry about anything. Uh, first page is your personal information. That's like the exact same as the first application. And then I ask if you want text message updates, uh, upload your resume or use your profile. And then it asks if you've ever been employed by Fox or Disney or a professional intern. And then it asks what your partner is. So don't ever share that with someone. That's your personal number. And then work authorization. So can you legally work in the U.S.? Are you here on a visa? All that kind of stuff. Then ask if you're a current participant, which if you're extending, you are. Uh, are you fully available to work? And then this is apparently something new. You are able to preference a move out date. And for future reference, they are November 14th. January 2nd, January 9th, January 16th, and January 23rd. Or, if you like surprises, you can choose I'm flexible. And then it has you pick the roles that you want. You can do current role, current location, which if you do that, you will probably get it. Or you can do current role, new location, or let me see if I can find the list, because I think it changes every year. Okay. So current role, current location, current role, new location, attractions, character performer. If you do that, you have to go to an audition and it's, they usually have a height range. It's like five, two and under or something like that. Costume operations, custodial floor, front desk, merchandise, monorail, photo pass photographer, quick service food and beverage, recreation attractions, ride service associate, which will require an additional application and interview, and that's um, driving the minivans around. And then the Skyliner is opening in August, I believe. This is the opening season, so that's pretty cool. And then Spa, Vacation Planner, and Watercraft. And then... These are the dates. November 14th, January 2nd, 9th, 16th, or I'm flexible. So after you've put in all that, um, it asks if you have a valid driver's license. If you wanted the rideshare thing and you don't have one, then you obviously can't do that. Um, and then ask if you've graduated, when will you graduate from college? Uh, then it asks about tattoos. And then it asks about housing. So, personally, I cannot stand living in this housing. I hate not having my own room. I hate not being able to have guests over. Um, and also, the rent will be hopefully cheaper. And then, would you be interested in cross-training at ESPN? No. And the last question is, what motivated you to apply for an extension? So... I think that's the end of that. Mm -mm. And then it has you acknowledge everything. I am not ready to submit mine yet, but as of right now, in case you're wondering, the roles, where did it go? So they give you five choices. And I have put mine in, but I haven't submitted it yet. So current role, current location is my top. And then current role, new location, Merchandise, attractions, and then Skylighter Gondola. I kind I like the idea of being in the opening team, but I'm also kind of worried that they're actually going to pick me for that. So I might take that off later, but we'll see. I assume a lot of people would want to do that because being on the opening team is something really special because you can only open something once. And like, there can be changes, but like, you open this thing once. There is also a $240 non-refundable program extension fee, which 
slightly less than the initial fee. When I reach six weeks before my program ends, I'm probably also going to try to apply for a job here. And I've heard that you can get that back, but we'll see. So extension applications came out May 20th, and I think we had a week to do them. On June 10th, we heard back, and they were saying that a week later was the final hereby date. But um, I didn't have any points or anything, so I did get my extension, and I am staying costumings at my current locations, which is good. Um, I unfortunately did not get to move off-site like I was hoping to, so I'm kind of now hoping that I get to move to another complex just to experience something different. But I also kind of don't want to move because I don't have any suitcase or anything, so I'm just going to have to shove everything in my car. So. July 29th is the official start of my extension. That's the day that I will potentially move. And then my new end date is January 23rd. And I've also put in for part and full-time costuming, but last time they were handing them out, they only were giving seasonal, so don't really have high hopes for that. But I am excited that I get to stay. I I'm excited for the Halloween party because the last time I was here I was probably like eight and Halloween and Christmas are my two favorite holidays so I'm excited to see those Christmas lights and everything. It's gonna be a little sad not being at home but I'm really enjoying working here and yeah. <laughs> 